One of the sets of five sets for success is how to beat zone coverage. Today in this Madden 25 offensive tip, we're going to be taking a look at a zone coverage beating formation out of the shotgun trips tight end, which can be found in the New York Giants playbook. We're right, working this out of the offensive scheme of the week. And uh, this is a primary, last week was our primary running formation. This week is actually going to be our primary zone beating formation. And uh, let's talk about why we like it. One of the most effective ways to beat zone coverage is to have a flat, a corner route, and a streak. We could do all of that for this formation. I really, really like this. So pay attention, guys. So let's get into this. All right, guys. Our base play is the PA slot corner. It's our base zone beating play. What we like to do is we like to put our running back on a swing to the right. We like to put Brandon Marshall on a smoke screen, and we like to motion our running back out to the right. Now we're not going to snap the ball until our running back stands still. Now you see he's standing still, and the first read on this play is going to be Brandon Marshall. If they're in a cover four, we're going to be able to hit it very quick and progress up the field. I really, really like this as a quick read to start off the play. Our second read on this play is going to be our corner route in situations where they could be running to cover two, cover two sink, stuff like that. Even and especially cover three, this is going to be especially very effective uh, for beating that. So you see, this time the smoke screen is going to be covered, but now you see that the corner route is wide open uh, on the outside there, and you're probably rarely ever going to have to get away from this route combination here on the on the left side. Uh, it will single-handedly beat every coverage in Man 25. All right, but say they do something weird, and let's show you the rest of the progressions here. All right, and two men under, they may be user in the comeback route. So our third read on this play, I really, really like it, is the corner route to the tight end. So not there, not there. Now they look to the right side to see the tight ends open, wide open. And then, obviously, our next read on this play is going to be our running back on this motion out swing route. Motion out swing routes are very effective this season, and we like to use them to beat man coverage and zone coverage. You're going to see here Matt Forte is going to get a cut to the inside, and we're going to pass it into the inside, and need to wait a little bit longer for that to come open. I unfortunately uh, got a little carried away there with my pass lead and ended up Cromarty showed me up. But here if we wait, so we're going to go through a progression. Left, no, no, now yes, and now you see Forte's wide open. Okay, so that's Forte's route. And then the last route on this play is going to be a user catch post route to Ash and Jeffrey. This is really effective for beating, um, you know, max coverage defenses. It's just a really good play. It could beat cover three. It could beat cover two. It could beat cover one. It could beat all the coverages in the game. Uh, I would watch out on cover three for this play, uh, but you typically won't have to even look there because, again, you got your smoke screen out there, and smoke screen is arguably one of the most... Whoa. Computer nano blitzes. Heh. Uh, but now, you, I mean, you see what I was trying to do there. I'll see if I can show you here. So we got Jeffrey on the cover three, and you see he's going to get bumped. So, obviously, we can hit our bubble screen if he gets bumped. That's always a nice little thing to have. So, let's, let me show you this. Uh, so, a lot of people pit, think that against uh, cover three, the bubble screen is going to be covered on this play. But in reality, since he bumps that post route, uh, if you see this, pre bu uh, this deep post get bumped, just hit your smoke screen and get a quick four yards, quick five yards. Try to juke a defender or something and, uh, you know, just keep the ball moving down the field. So, this is what I like about this formation. Next play I want to take a look at is the bubble screen. It's our L1 audible. And basically, if we see our defense base aligned, so here we're going to put up in a base align and we're going to call press. Um, this is going to leave the flats open to the left side for the bubble screen. We have a numbers advantage, three by one. What we like to do off of this is we like to put our running back on a streak and our tight end on a zig. And our first read here is just simply throw the bubble screen. And I mean, you see with Devin Hester out there, it's going to be really effective and get upfield really quickly. So that's the basics of the bubble screen. Next play I want to look at is the out route. I love the slant flat combination, so we create three concepts in one play. And then we also have a slant out to the right side by Bennett. Our first read on this play is obviously going to be the flat against cover four. You're going to be able to hit that pretty effectively. All right. And then our next read is going to be the uh, slant route. And against cover two situation where, you know, uh, a situation where the curl flat read may be covered in cover two situations, um, we're not going to be able to hit this um, slant route across the middle of the field to Alshon Jeffrey. Definitely want to take advantage of that. And then our third read, situation where they may be in a cover three or, uh, you know, trying to stop the first two reads, our third read on this play is going to be Brandon Marshall. It's very simple. We're just going to hit him uh, on the out route, and it's going to be wide open against cover three. It's also going to be open against two men under. All right. And then our last read on this play is going to be the slant-flat combination to the left side of the field. Really, I'm a big fan of this combination of routes. We can use this as a, just a change-up. You see the blue route's going to come out and just go right to the outside. We like to hit it with a passing to the outside late. Beats man in zone coverage. Take advantage of it. 
All right, guys, the last play I want to look at is Jags wide screen. What I like to do here is I like to put Alshon Jeffrey on a hitch route, Brandon Marshall on a comeback route or an out route, depending on what you want to do. We want to put Devin Hester on a drag route, and we want to um, we want to put Matt Forte on a uh, delay blue, and I also are on a block and release pattern. And then sometimes I'll put Brent, uh, Martellus Bennett on a flat, depending on the situation. What we like to do here is like to motion Alshon Jeffrey to the right side of the screen. This is our primary zone blitz beater, and uh, we like to snap throw the ball to Alshon Jeffrey. He's open, but he's not here. So we're going to take the read to Devin Hester underneath, and that was a very uh, really horrible example of what I wanted to show. So let me show you this again. When we motion Alshon Jeffrey over, snap throw hitch routes are very effective this season. So we're going to snap him at the numbers, and if they're not press coverage, we're just going to throw the ball right to him. It's going, to be uh, it's going to beat off coverage every single time. So they have to press coverage. It's a situation where they may be in, uh, you know, two-man under. Now they're going to be pressed up on the image. And we know from experience that the uh, delay screen here is really effective uh, in situations like this. So here we go. We drop away. We see that they beat. The, the drag gets open and gets that space. we got like 17,000 blockers over here for Devin Hester to take it to the house. So that's how I really like to use the slip. The best read on this is for a situation where they may be two men under and they're max covering you. So here we go. And so I'll set the play up. And we can always hit that uh, you know that comeback route late if we if we if everything breaks down. We like to drop away and then hit the running back. And you see you've got like 35 blockers over there. You just try to make a cut of field. This is basically a, just a running play. I mean, it's a lot of quick quick, quick reads. Uh, we're trying to get the ball in our receiver's hands as quick as possible. Trying to get the ball out of Jay Cutler's hands and into these hands of these talented receivers on the Bears. And if everything breaks down, no reason you can't just use a catch comeback route right with Brandon Marsh on the outside. So that's the basic principles of the trips tied in, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. Remember, guys, I can't help you unless I know what you need. Let me know anything that you need, anything you guys are looking for, what you come to this channel for, what you're trying to figure out when you look for Madden 25 tips. I need to know so that I can provide you with that content so that you can get better at the game. This isn't about me. This is about you guys. I want to make you guys the best Madden players you can be. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out me on Twitter. Blog. Also, if you guys haven't already done all that, be sure to share this video on Twitter if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back tomorrow with another Scheme of the Week breakdown. <laughs>